This week on October 13th, we will see the beginning of the Emergencies Act Public Order Inquiry here in Canada, which is set to last until November 25th, where Trudeau's response to the Freedom Convoy will be scrutinized, hopefully like it has never been before. To help us pay our expenses here in Ottawa, which includes an Airbnb, food, travel costs, and a lot more, please visit truckercommission.com. Hey folks, William Diaz here, a Rebel News Ottawa-based reporter. And um, while parliamentarians aren't sitting this week in Ottawa, Ottawa's politics aren't fully dead after all. In fact, the next month will be crucial for the Freedom Convoy, just for the Freedom Movement in general across Canada. On October 13th, 2022, as I just mentioned, Ottawa will be home of a public order inquiry to investigate the government's response to the Freedom Convoy and the use of the Emergencies Act. The Freedom Convoy was a process that took place back in February where truckers came to Ottawa to process the federal government, vaccine mandates, and other COVID-19 measures as well at all levels of government. So why the inquiry? Well, it's easy because Trudeau used an anti-terrorism law called the Emergencies Act on peaceful protesters. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act to supplement provincial and territorial capacity to address the blockades and occupations. One that gave the police, the banks, extraordinary amount of powers to arrest political dissidents and seize their money. If you are involved in this protest, we will actively look to identify you and follow up with financial sanctions and criminal charges. Absolutely. We, we, this investigation will go on for months to come. It was basically martial law, one could say. And, and I want you to know it, it is happening. I do have the numbers in front of me and I do particularly want people who are participating in illegal blockades and in illegal occupation to know these measures are real. They are being used. They will have an impact. And there is a really easy way to avoid being affected by these measures. And that is just go home. Go back to work. You can see our underground scene journalism at I believe convoyreports.com. Now, who's going to be at the inquiry? Who will be testifying? Who are going to be the witnesses? Well, the list is long ranging from Justin Trudeau to some convoy organizers while having some business owners as well. Liberal ministers set to make appearance are transport ministers Omar Al Gabra, Justice Minister David Lametti, Public Safety Minister. Marco Mendicino, Defense Minister Anita Anand, Emergencies Preparedness Minister Bill Blair, Intergovernmental Affairs Minister Dominique Leblanc, and Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland. Of course, this also includes their leader himself, Justin Trudeau. Ottawa's current mayor, Jim Watson, will be testifying as well alongside a current Ottawa mayoral candidate, Catherine McKinney. Uh, just like Watson, McKinney has stated her discontent with the Freedom Convoy and the Freedom Movement in general, expressing her belief countless of times that participants are misogynists and extremists. McKinney, the woke far-left candidate, will be testifying during the inquiry into the Trudeau government's use of the Emergency Act as indicated by the list of participants. She is currently a city councillor for Ottawa's Ward 14 Somerset. Now, in terms of the convoy organizers themselves, you can expect to see participants Tamara Leash, Pat King, Chris Barber, Tom Morazzo, and Benjamin Ditcher. Danny Billford will not be testifying, or at least his name isn't listed as a witness. The witness list may change, however, it's important to note that. The inquiry begins on October 13th and will last nearly a month and a half, ending on November 25th. Rebel News will be sending a team out in Ottawa, which also includes myself, and we'll make sure to cover the whole inquiry and bring you factual information about what is going on. I'll be joined by a rotating cast of hardworking independent journalists there to get the story straight because, well, as we learn from the convoy coverage, you, ca you just cannot trust the mainstream media. You can't. It's as simple as that. Make sure to stay tuned. For Rebel News, this was William Diaz. To stay up to date or to help us pay our expenses here in Ottawa, which includes an Airbnb, food, travel costs, and a lot more, please visit truckercommission.com.